All right, y'all. I just got done watching the Denver Nuggets playing versus the Chicago Bulls. They pull out the victory. No Jamal Murray. KCP doesn't come back out for the second half. So before I go on this rant, I want to shout out all the Denver Nuggets players that showed up and did their job. Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, another great back-to-back -back game. Really important three-pointer hit. Julian Strauss has been excellent the last two games. Again, 29th overall pick. Great player. Reggie Jackson. Two-year, $10 million deal in the offseason. People laughed at it. They didn't think it was going to be worth what it is. He's been great, worth way more than $5 million for this team. So a lot of key contributors tonight. But y'all, Nikola Jokic tonight got ejected with basically three minutes left in the second quarter, and he gets a clear foul on Booch, who fouls him while going up for a reverse. He then looks at the referee, yells, not even yells, just says something emphatically towards the referee as he was running back down court. And then he gets down court, Kobe White gets another foul, and then he looks at the ref, says something else, not one, two technicals. Two technicals. Joker didn't yell, he didn't scream, he didn't lunge, he didn't run towards the referee, nothing. This is the same referee that threw out Terrence Mann with two texts in basically five seconds for no reason earlier this season as well. I'm telling y'all, I am so sick and tired of talking about NBA referees, talking about the missing calls, talking about the missing calls on Joker, talking about the just amount of exceedingly privileged refs that feel like they can do whatever they want to whoever. Giannis Antetokounmpo gets thrown out of the game early this year for nothing. Nikola Jokic gets thrown out in Detroit for nothing. Nikola Jokic, Serbian night in Chicago, gets thrown out for nothing. So here's my whole thing. Referee, very difficult job. Officials have a very difficult job to do. You'll never hear me complain otherwise. But for you to throw out the back-to-back -back MVP on its way to win another third MVP, reigning finals MVP, best player in the world, consensus, unanimous, for you to throw him out, Given what just happened for nothing, and again, not charging, not berating, not LeBron falling on the ground exceedingly at the end of a game because he doesn't get a foul call, not Draymond Green kicking and screaming and crying, going on for two minutes, none of that stuff, not Luka Doncic going up and down the court arguing for possession after possession after possession, wasn't that, Jokic gets a foul call, missed, missed, and then Runs down the court, says something to the referee, and look, he might have dropped an mf -er. That's the speculation. He dropped an mf -er in there somewhere. So what? Did, did he disrespect the game? Did he disrespect the NBA basketball court? That's the question. Because if you're saying he just made you feel away, that's not a reason to throw a technical, let alone two technicals. That is ridiculous. It is unreasonable unreasonable to expect a bunch of grown men playing NBA basketball are not going to get contentious. They're not going to say something. They're not going to get upset. They're not going to get angry. And to think that they can't respond to a ref just because of their title is utterly ridiculous. That was one of the softest ejections I have ever seen in my life. The entire NBA community saw it. The entire NBA media saw it. Everybody unanimously came together and said that was one of the worst Worst ejections we've ever seen, and that never should have happened. They treat Nikola Jokic like a role player. The foul calls he doesn't get are egregious. Egregious. The fact that you can't see clear as day him get fouled, and then you don't do your job the first time around, and then because of that, he says something to you. Instead of being held accountable for what you did, you throw him out of the game, the best in the world, Serbia night in Chicago, where they come once a year. These fans don't get to see him. They don't get to see him but once a year and they're not going to see him in the playoff. So for you to make this about you, official, make it about you and your pride to throw out the best in the world is ridiculous. And absolutely there should be consequences for doing something like that. Because the NBA is the only sport where Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, it don't matter, Jamar Chase, Tyreek Hill, anybody, any NFL superstar you can think about, they're not getting thrown out. Messi, Ronaldo, getting thrown out at the peak of their powers for arguing with a ref when they missed the call? Y'all, shout out to the Denver Nuggets. They pulled off the victory. That's the second straight victory. They come home for a three-game homestand, really can stack up some more wins, put themselves back in the talk of the Western Conference, maybe. Jokic was on his way to playing a really great game, lower volume, but Jokic was going to play efficient. Rebounds were there. Playmaking was there, and the game got ruined. 
the night for NBA fans got ruined because of a referee didn't decide that they didn't want to put their, their pride aside and just call the game. If you miss a call, be accountable, then that's it. Call today. That was completely ridiculous. Swipe the game. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I might do another video tomorrow. Again, I'm out and about. So you're not going to get the long form that you typically get, 15 minutes or anything like that, y'all. But again, shout out to the Denver Nuggets, Michael Malone, Julian Strother, Michael Porter, Aaron Gordon, Reggie Jackson, DeAndre freaking Jordan, Peyton Watson, Christian Brown, and everybody that helped contribute to a win in Chicago despite the referees, despite no Murray, KCP, or Jokic for the second half. Incredible game for the Denver Nuggets. Shout out to y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Subscribe, share, like. Y'all know what to do.